I've come so far. I'm not turning back. In Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Lara is hunting Trinity, the organization responsible for her father's death. Lara was really defined by her relationship with her father from the first two games. In Tomb Raider 2013, she was trying to prove that her father was wrong and believing in all these myths. At the end of 2013, she realized her father had been right about all these things. In Rise of the Tomb Raider, she's trying to restore the reputation of her family name. At the end of Rise of the Tomb Raider, she's going off on her own, stepping out of the father's footsteps. But she's also realizing that choices have consequences. And she thinks she knows what's going on with Trinity, but she has this obsessive side that she tends to leap before she looks, and this is getting her into trouble. And this is what she needs to kind of get over and address in this story. Lara inadvertently starts a Maya apocalypse by taking a relic that Trinity's after. She thinks that if Trinity wants it and she gets it first, that's a good thing. But what it does is starts a chain reaction of a series of cataclysms that will end with the death of the sun. And that's what she's trying to stop in this game. You know, before nature was something that she endured, something that she survived. The jungle is something that she's going to master, control it. At first, it's a challenge for her at the beginning of the game, but through the evolution and learning powers and talents, she's able to use the jungle to her advantage. She can use the environment to hide, disappear, so the whole stealth gameplay loop is way better. Uh, being able to torment and terrify her opponents, she can even avoid combats that way, just scare them and get them to leave by using the jungle to her advantage. I have to wonder, what will I become? Lara was already capable, awesome character. What we wanted to do is move everyone up, make the challenges that she's gonna go through be as up to her level as possible. So we have compelling opponents, but also Jonah, her ally, is gonna challenge her on certain things. When she's wrong, she's gonna call her out on those things. And also she has an internal conflict, the guilt she's gonna feel at starting the Maya apocalypse. She's gonna reconcile all that stuff so you have three levels of drama to deal with and that's really gonna push her to, to change and evolve.